What animals are like real life Pokemon? I'm glad you asked. Welcome back to Shelby on Safari, and in today's video, we are gonna be looking at one of the cutest starter Pokemon from Johto, Totodile, and see what real life animal is like this adorable big jaw Pokemon. We're gonna look at what they share in both attack, defense, and location. So you ready? Join the Safari and let's get started. Totodile, the water type Pokemon that was first introduced to us in Johto as one of the starter types that you could pick in the very beginning to come along with you on your journey. Totodile seems to be full of life and energy, but also has a really big jaw, which lends itself quite nicely to narrowing down what real life animal I think is like Totodile. I chose the incredible Cuban Crocodile. So let's see what they have in common in terms of their attacking styles. Well, if there's one thing that is a common thread amongst all the Pokedex entries since Pokemon Gold and Silver, it is that Totodile has a very impressive and very dangerous jaw. They clearly state that Totodile's jaws are both powerful and well-developed, and that even its own trainers need to be careful, because Totodile seems to have a habit for taking a bite out of anything. In Omega Ruby's Pokedex entry, it does even state that despite the playful nature of Totodile, where they think they're just playfully nipping, its bite is powerful enough to cause serious injury. On the matter of teeth, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to briefly discuss some of the differences between crocodiles and alligators, since it's the teeth and the jaws that come to mind when distinguishing between who is who. So in terms of jaws, alligators have relatively straight jaws, whereas crocodiles have more wavy jaws. Specifically, teeth are in a straight line or teeth are in a wavy line. With that in mind, it also pays to look at the shape of the snout. Alligators have wider snouts, whereas crocodiles, theirs are a bit more narrow. And if you by chance are close enough to count the teeth on a crocodile or an alligator, you'll notice that the fourth tooth on a crocodile's jaw are actually outside the top jaw. Because as we mentioned, the crocodile's jaw is a bit more wavy than that of the alligator's straight jaw. And with this, the Cuban crocodile is no exception. Let's take a closer look at their teeth now. See that? The fourth one is indeed on the outside. Now yes, crocodiles have an impressive bite, that is for sure. But one thing that makes the Cuban crocodile stand out, not just in terms of its bite, but how it attacks prey that reminds me of Totodile is in fact how they can leap out of the water. We often see Totodile bouncing about quite happily on its hind legs. It's a bipedal type Pokemon. And no, I'm not suggesting the Cuban crocodile is a bipedal crocodilian. No, no. But it does have powerful legs. Cuban crocodiles are the most terrestrial of all the crocodilians. So it should come as no surprise that they have really strong legs that give them almost a high walk when they're on land. But that's not all. In the water, they are equally impressive. Using tail thrust, they can leap out of the water and grab prey. Pretty impressive, right? So it seems that Totodile and the Cuban Crocodile both have powerful jaws, powerful tails, and powerful legs that are adapted for leaping. But how do they defend themselves? What defensive strategies do both of these amazing creatures share in common? In terms of base stats, it turns out Totodile's defense is not too far behind its attack. Its base stat for attack is 65, where defense is just 64. Totodile can learn a few cool moves to help its defensive strategy. One that comes to mind is Scary Face, which lowers the target speed stat. It can also learn Screech, which lowers the defensive stat of the target as well. But the thing that stands out quite literally in terms of Totodile's defense are its spines down its back and the one at the tip of its tail. Now, does the Cuban crocodile have these spines as well? Eh, not quite, but they have something even cooler. While they aren't spiky, the Cuban crocodile has large osteoderms, also known as bony plates, down its spine. Another physical trait that the Cuban crocodile and Totodile appear to have in common is the bony ridge behind the eyes. 
See, Totodile's eyes are quite high up, which comes in handy when you're in the water to be scouting out looking for either predators or prey. But, I don't know, there just seems to be a ridge there, and you can see with the Cuban crocodile, they have that bony ridge behind their eyes as well. Curious, eh? I think it's now time to talk about the location aspects of Totodile and the Cuban crocodile, because here is where it gets truly interesting. Since Totodile is a starter Pokemon, it is unusual to see one in the wild. Although if you were to find one in the wild, it would be by water source, like lakes, rivers, or ponds, which coincidentally are all fresh water. And that is where I think it transitions quite nicely to the Cuban crocodile. The Cuban crocodile prefers fresh water. They're rarely found in salt water. And as their name suggests, they are endemic to Cuba. However, they have the smallest range of any crocodile species. In the wild, they're only found in a small area of less than 200 square miles. They are listed on the IUCN Red List as critically endangered. And because of this smaller distribution, the Cuban crocodile is threatened with extinction from human activities like encroachment and hunting. But humans aren't the only threat they face. They're fighting for resources with the spectacled caiman. And in the Zapata Swamp? Well, it turns out the American crocodile has made its way over via canals that were constructed in the 19th century, leading to the American crocodile and the Cuban crocodile to be interbreeding. Thus, the genetic integrity of the Cuban crocodile is at risk. It is estimated that only about 3,000 purebred Cuban crocodiles exist in the wild today. Now, I thought it'd be fun at the end to share some of the big differences, quite literally, when it comes to size, between Totodile and the Cuban Crocodile, just to highlight how amazing both of these creatures really are. So first up, let's take a look at size, shall we? Totodile gets up to two feet tall and weighs just under 21 pounds. The Cuban Crocodile, on the other hand, gets to about 10 and a half feet in length where males are slightly larger than females, and they can weigh up to 180 pounds. Whew, quite the difference, eh? Now the other really big difference between Totodile and the Cuban Crocodile comes down to personality. In the anime, we see Totodile is super playful. It even says it in the Pokedex entries as well. They have a really, really sweet nature. And well, the Cuban Crocodile doesn't. No way. <laughs> in fact, they are known as probably one of the more aggressive species of crocodile. It's been reported that they have quite the fiery temperament, so seems like a stark contrast between the two, <laughs> doesn't it? So we've seen just how powerful both Totodile and the Cuban crocodile are, with their powerful legs, as well as their powerful jaw. Their powerful defense with the Cuban crocodile's osteoderms or bony plates, and how it seems Totodile has something similar running down its back. And then, sadly, how both are rare in the wild, especially the Cuban crocodile, being listed as critically endangered. So what do you think? Is the Cuban crocodile a real-life Pokemon? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're there, might as well say thank you to my buddy Pierre from Shine Science, who inspired this video because of his love for Totodile, who always shows up in his lives behind him with the little mascot. Actually, like Alolan Vulpix, my buddy behind me now, in case you didn't notice her chillin' behind me. Oh, terrible pun there. But if you haven't already, be sure to click on my video right here on what real life animal is like Alolan Vulpix. Go on, click it. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching. Bye.